on today's Faces and Places. Combining stage performance with art and design, puppeteers are proud to call Central Florida their home. With this medium, it satisfies virtually every realm of creativity that you can think of. When I create a show or create a character, I'm utilizing virtually every medium of art. But when people think of puppets, they, you know, they think, you know, oh, it's a little craft project. Now, this is a very, very serious art medium. Uh, when I design puppets, uh, you know, I mean, I need, uh, first I need to figure out what they're going to look like. I need to illustrate them. Uh, sometimes I'll go so far as, you know, as to paint them. And then from there I have to take that and bring it into the, into the three-dimensional world. So each step along the way is an, art form, is an art form in itself. Once I've created the puppet as a performer, I take it to the next level. So once I've created the puppet, now I can give that character a voice. I can give that character a personality. I will perform the puppet. I will voice the puppet. And then beyond that, I also create the whole world that that character lives inside. So I will create the sets and the environment that it will live in. Being a puppet builder, there's, a, uh, there's like a parental and somewhat mad scientist fascination with creating puppets. So uh, throughout, throughout my childhood and adulthood, I've always been fascinated with that. There's something magical about puppetry. Uh, unlike uh, a cartoon or some computer-generated image, uh, a puppet is three-dimensional, it's live, it's right there with you, it, you can interact with it, you, you can give it a hug. It, uh, uh, the personalities that come out through puppetry are very realistic. I'm not ashamed to admit that some of my best friends are puppets. <laughs>